What's good, y'all? It's the Mashak Saria, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Defense Headquarters. Defense. The state-of-the-art five-floor defense headquarters is built on an area of more than 13 hectares of land in the capital city, Addis Ababa. Mm. An earthquake-resistant building, it contains 773 offices and facilities, such as meeting halls, a library, well-equipped data center, a situation room, and an operations room. It has eight panoramic elevators and built-in fire alarm systems. Okay, I must say a building, a building that have over 700 rooms that don't shoot upward. Mm -hmm. Just don't be fooled by the picture. Right. That's big, bro. That's, right. that's that's massive. Yeah, it reminds me of our Pentagon. That's mm. what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. The quadrilateral shape of the building denotes that the Ethiopian military force protects the country along the four corners direction of its borders. The shape of the building, when observed from the top, looks like an arrow and shield shape of our traditional weapon. Wow. This design is originated from the concept of the traditional weapon of ancient Ethiopian warriors, which is the arrow and shield. The weapon is included in the logo of FDRE Defense Forces. The horizontal length of hybrid composite beam used on the building in meters is equal to a flight from Addis Ababa to Deborah Burhan, which is 113 kilometer. Set in spacious and picturesque developed area of 62 hectares, the defense headquarters includes a helipad, 3.6 hectares asphalt parking area, an artificial lake with fountains, and the old airport tower, renovated while maintaining its historical features and turned into a cafe and restaurant. A tree and flower lined scenic walk from the Eastern Gate to the Western Gate of the Defense Headquarters spans 1.6 kilometer. Adwa Museum. The Adwa Museum is an edifice planned to serve as a symbolic and functional hub. The project represents that our capital is at the center of our country and our overall movement as Ethiopians. It is a symbol of our people's unity and a reminder of the history and legacy of our ancestors. What I'm liking so far is that they're creating buildings with meaning. A hundred percent. Like yeah. everything is symbolic and they're connecting everything back to their traditional way, their history and their ancestors. Yeah. I'm loving that. So far, it don't sound greedy. Nah. It sounds like I'm giving back. A hundred percent. Yeah. And building up. Yeah. Yeah. The project, which commemorates the great victory of Adwa, underscores its iconic stance it's as a symbol of Africa dignity Big and symbol. that of all black people. Mm. The museum is being built at the very heart of the city in front of the current city hall. The Adwa Museum, as part of the 3.3 hectare project, will have the city hall with the capacity of more than 2,000 people, three smaller halls with a total capacity of more than 4,000 people, a cinema, an amphitheater, fountains, taxi, and bus stations, as well as the main museum and an art gallery. That's not bad, man. You can't lose with that. It also has a transit bridge that connects it to the current municipality. Wow. The Adwa project is hoped to boost our tourism revenue of yeah. Addis Ababa and that of Ethiopia at large. Now, that's what. Yes, Smart. yes, as a museum person myself, you know, having it in the heart of the city, I'm not sure how close the airport is, but because there's a town hall right, right there, and, you know, it'll give people opportunity to create more businesses right there, because people are going to come there. 100%. You know, if it's a museum, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
when people go to a new place, they want to know about the culture of that place, the history yeah. of that place. Right, right. And it's giving other people an opportunity to build up around it. Mm. You know? You sound like you was in that meeting. I tried to be. Because <laughs> you're talking right. You're talking right. In Rhodes administration, within a mere six-month period, and has a total cross-sectional width of 11 meters. That's some ones right there for you now. So what y'all got going on? What y'all building? A road. A road? Until they get to see the road. Yes. Like, this is different. You never hear someone bragging about how they about to build a road that's going to really help the people transfer back and forth, mm -hmm. give them nice views, yeah. and it goes to the academy. Yeah, well, I know that there's, like, some rural areas, you know, and it'll give people more access to get to where they need to get to. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. of course, people like us who like road trips, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the lights, too. Come on, now. Y'all putting yes. street lights up there on a the dark road? Yes. We've Safety. been down some dark roads before. Child. And, man, we was like, Too we many. wished we had some street lights. Too many. <laughs> Pushkin Gotara Road Project. Okay. The Pushkin Gotara Road Project introduces a new chapter to the roads of Addis Ababa by bringing the first of its kind 320 meters long street tunnel to the city. Oh. The project aims to enhance the very chronic traffic congestion, which was exhibited around Kara by introducing an interchange with three levels. The tunnel, along with the 100 meter long overpass bridge, facilitates the free flow of traffic. As a result, the project harmonizes the mobility of traffic coming from six directions, namely mm. Pushkin Square, AKA Sarbit, Gotara, Kirkos, Mexico, Kara, and Gofa at the central west area of the city. The infrastructure endeavor also brings an alternative VIP route from Boli International Airport to the African Union through African and Ethio China avenues. The road has a total of 3.8 kilometer length in six directions. Besides, it has a capacity of accommodating six vehicles at a time in both directions with an overall roadway width varying from 30 to yeah. 46 meters. This modern road project encompasses 4.5 meters spacious and high quality walkways in both directions. Mm. The Child, they about to have a whole tunnel that we haven't even seen before. Facts, facts. It's going to be lovely, too. And it's going to be helpful. Yes, it will be. All I'm thinking about is the Fast and the Furious for some reason. Mm. <laughs> Six lanes both ways in a tunnel. Now, that's spacious, man. I mean, you look, as people sleep peacefully in their beds at night, <laughs> throughout the entire year, you have no idea how many people have moved in your city. Yeah. In your country. Like, you really don't even know it until you start to see all the new roads they're building. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, something going on. Right. Because you, know, you need more space for the people. Yes, to accommodate everybody. Facts. So it's not just traffic jams and bumper to bumper all mm. the time. Project was undertaken at a cost of more than 1.5 billion Ethiopian bur. Pushkin Gotara can be considered as a landmark project for its excellent project execution sustainable as well as efficient solution to the acute traffic congestion, economic multiplier effect to the city, ensuring traffic safety, timely project delivery, minimizing travel time and cost. Like that. Parking. Unity, Unity parking, parking is a part of the Grand Palace Heritage Parking Project, which began in 2019 and is now under completion on a 54,500 square meter area of land. Okay. The structure features four basement levels and a G plus four multifunctional building complex parking structure that can accommodate 1,050 cars and 10 buses. About 95 spaces are available for shops, bars, and restaurants, as well as an amphitheater, security offices, and an internet cafe. A 400% capacity amphitheater lies atop the basement parking and connects to a tunnel which is 105 meter long, eight meter wide, and four meter high leading into Unity Park. Oh, so it's actually going to be an event space. Wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, if I'm understanding right, the amphitheater <clears throat> is kind of like what we have in our parks. Remember where we were going to get married at? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like 
you know, that's a space for people to gather and meet, mm -hmm. you know, and we do know that Ethiopians are religious people, spiritual yeah. people. Yeah. So that's a, a cool place, you know, like if you didn't want to go to the park or something, you can go there or they could have some sort of event place and it's right on top of a parking garage. Yeah. And they got food courts and restaurants yeah. and movie theaters all around the area as well. So everything is walking distance. It's just yeah. not like a place where you could just like really relax. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, a whole parking garage. Really come and, you know, they really kick your feet think up. it. They really think it. With the underground parking too, that's genius. Yes. That's genius. And they thinking about the buses too. Oh yeah. That's smart. <laughs> like, that yeah. just makes sense. It just makes sense. <laughs> Mescal Square and Parking Mescal Square's exterior has been upgraded to provide a better and more modern service to our city's diversity, covering 50,000 square meters with trees, fountains, planted grass, and five digital LED display screens. This road upgrade project has been a wonderful addition to our city, attracting local and foreign visitors and creating a beautiful and appealing landscape, cafes, and Wi-Fi internet access are also freely That's accessible it. Done on it. site. That's the way. The project includes two basement smart parking lots that provide better and more modern service that can accommodate up to 1,400 vehicles simultaneously, as well as bike lanes and electronic bikes. In addition, there are 35 shops, 140 restrooms, 20 bathrooms, and many other office facilities, along with six elevators, 24-hour security cameras, and modern fire protection. What's this? A theater? Concert hall. A library. Yeah. A mall. A mall. Abra Holt Library, an architectural <gasps> library oh, with a unique hey, I just Listen. love it when we have our finger right on the mark. Like, yeah, that makes me feel good. Yes. Now I thought it was a mall when they when they the, inside. the inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, I will come there and that's my whole trip. I'm at the library. What you think it was that gave it away that it's libraryish? The outside, the interior, yeah, yeah. The, you know, it you want to see inside. It yeah. was the stones for me, how they had these long stones in yeah. the front. It kind of get like school almost, you yes. know? So that's how I figured out the little the stones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Style and size, Abra Hotel Library is the largest library in Ethiopia and one of the top 10 most beautiful libraries in Africa. That's fine. The facility built on a 38,687 square meter land took a mere 18 months to finish. There is it's much in a name, as names hold our aspirations and visions at times. Abrahot means enlightenment in Amharic. The project was initiated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed as part of efforts to improve the education cool. sector. He stressed that as one of the 18 countries in the world and the only nation with its own alphabet, Ethiopians should explore knowledge and wisdom contained in its ancient manuscripts. When enlightenment comes, a generation will understand the true meaning of a nation, freedom, history, the benefits of prosperity and the journey to it. This library will serve as a channel of knowledge to the people. That is an excerpt of the Prime Minister's speech during the inauguration of Abrahot Library. The public library has a capacity to accommodate up to 4,000 people using all spaces. With four stories, it has a capacity to hold 4 million books and equipped with infrastructure for the development of digital libraries, enabling up to 30,000 people to access at a time. And technology oh, museum. museum. The Science and Technology Museum is a state-of-the-art facility that contains a science and technology exhibition hall dedicated to the development and application of scientific ideas and instruments. Lying on oh, 6.78 hectares, the museum contains a science and technological innovation exhibition area, circular in shape and dubbed Ring of Wisdom to denote humanity's endless ability and capacity to continuously create. 
The museum complex rests on 15,000 meters square of land with a height of nine meters and carrying two floors. The first floor will be a visitor center and contain two large exhibition centers, an amphitheater and various offices, cafeteria and VIP lounge. The second floor carries solar panels, a roof garden, and will have a library, design laboratory, workshop, and sound studios. They're working. The second part of the Science Museum is the Dome Theater, which is a three-dimensional cinema with 24 meter height and 450 meter square space and able to accommodate up to 200 people at once. As the purposes of the museum have profound impact on the human development of the nation, both structures elevate the status of urban landscape. That's beautiful. I'm like a kid. Mm. <laughs> Ready to see what they have. What is this? This the this the country club. <laughs> In Toto Park. Oh, in Toto Park lies at the north edge of Addis Ababa at an altitude of 2,600 to 3,200 meters in the Entoto Mountains, considered the lung of Addis Ababa. Mm. Love the structures. Initiated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in 2020, the entire park infrastructure was built mobilizing local resources and onboarding different businesses offering a wide range of indoor and outdoor activities, mm. including a paintball arena, which is a safe haven for everyone who loves a good game of paintball, zipline and obstacle courses. Adults and children can enjoy the natural green environment and ride horses. For those who dare a night or two in the urban wilderness, a tented camp area is available. Home to some of the best Ethiopian owned cafes and restaurants, the park offers a weekend respite for millions of residents of the city, as well as an ideal stopover for travelers Almost transiting like through park. Ethiopia. Almost. And Toto Park also features an archery and a large outdoor amphitheater that can be used for concerts, theaters, and live music. Oh, this is gonna be a good old time right there. Yes. Yeah, this is this, this the one. Yes. This park gonna have a good old time. Imagine zip lining. Oh, nah. <laughs> I do it. I mean, it didn't look too high, but they have yeah. something that's like just they a little too high. They say it's high up high. there, though. I mean, I seen to the little to go to the park. I seen a little moment when they had another when she was zip tied, the lining. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do it. I do it too. I do In it. Ethiopia. Facts, especially at this part. It's a nice looking part. Yes, I like it. I'm coming here every day. <laughs> In the heart of the park lies the Intoto Fine Arts Center Gallery. Yeah, a like first that. of its kind in Ethiopia with regards to art space specifically designed and built having a grand art gallery. It has been evident that it has already catered for grand exhibitions, showcasing artworks of many great Ethiopian artists from various periods. The center has attracted a large number of art lovers since its opening two years ago. Aspiring young talents have also found this space to be a center of nurture for their artistic future. Within the park grounds, more than 400 women who used to make a living by collecting firewoods in the forests of Entoto have been provided with job opportunities as input providers for the restaurants and cafes within the park. That's what's up. Okay, got some action now. Entertainment Park Adventure Place. A park. Yeah. Another park. Another Shagar park. Riverside Project Phase 2. Shagar um, Riverside Project Phase 2 project right is now. a component of the beautifying Shagar <laughs> Project launched in 2019. It comprises of a Definitely wedding garden, kids. children's paradise, and sports mm. area. The wedding garden includes a flower terrace, wedding lawn, and pond, while the children's paradise includes a natural science gallery, natural music area, and a maze garden, which is an outdoor amusement park that combines fun interactions that incorporates plant science. 
this one park you have to keep your, your eye on your kid because this look like it get packed. Yes, like, quick. Like, real quick. <laughs> Bro, you just take your eye off one time and you know, the kids run in all different yes. directions. They by the water park. You still at that adventure place in the Fact. museum. <laughs> trying to figure it out. <laughs> For children aged 1 to 3, the forest-themed toddler playground provides an activity space with natural and interesting elements. It's a space where kids can develop their minds and body while creating wonderful childhood memories by playing on the safe, hazard-free soft playground. A mini basketball court and rainbow track are installed in the children's sports area oh, in addition to the sports themed oh, playground for children aged six to ten years to help them develop their agility and balance i love it listen i'm i'm thinking as a kid i see the lanes i'm like oh we could play rallies like have rally teams you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man i wish we had something like this when we were young man. we just had track you know, it wasn't fun looking. I mean, <laughs> got the job done. Friendship Square, phase one of the Shaker Riverside project. Friendship Square is a phase one project of the Sugar Riverside project. It has more than 4,000 indigenous trees of various species that have been planted in the park and is filled with colorful flowers that symbolize and signify the name of the city, Addis Ababa. relax and enjoy snacks while soaking in the natural environment at the outdoor garden cafe. The pergola has access to water and electricity, making it ideal for a picnic or a garden restaurant. This park is huge. It's really huge. This is the other side of what we just saw. Mm -hmm. This is huge. Of course they would have a food court. Now I'm looking for a bowling alley. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, uh, what, what do you call it? The, the, um, the board that our son likes to play on. I can't think of it. The board? Skateboard. The skateboard. skateboard oh, right? the, um, yeah. skate park. Yes, I'm looking for that. Mm -hmm. I know you got a skate park. Yes. 100%. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that one either. No, nah, this is huge, though, man. You can't, again, I feel like you got to keep your eye on yours for, for this one because, man, yes. there's a lot of activities. Yes, yeah, a, a trail. I like it. Yeah. Fishing. Fishing. Hey, y'all, you got fishing in water. <laughs> For real. Visitors can relax on the large open lawn surrounded by beautiful plants. The flower terrace is a picturesque garden path with colorful flowers, trees, and shrubs where visitors can enjoy the beautiful scenery and create an unforgettable experience. You just spend an entire day here, like. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Wildlife reserve. How you feel from the gate? From the gate? <laughs> from the gate. From the jump. Okay, that was a good one. I felt like we one for one. Yeah. We, we both in the yeah, we in the Yeah, it's I knew from the gate though. Okay. It would, be, it would have been something that people had to you know, go through an entrance, like a certain entrance through. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what it looked like and I thought of animals. Well, you got it right. And I know they don't do zoos, so See, reserve. You, you, you be in these people meetings, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Unity Park. In 2019, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed launched the Unity Park at the Grand National Palace, opening up the space to the public known previously as a center of glory and agony. This is different. The Grand National Palace has housed and has been the office of successive Ethiopian leaders since it was established in the 1870s. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at 
at that, babe. What is it? Look, it looked like a, a um a, house. a camel, camel head. A camel head. Yeah, look, the head right there, and then the humps. A camel body. Well, it's a body. Okay, I see. I see. I see. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah. So. We saw like a piece of this mm -hmm. on one of our one of the Ethiopian Ethiopia the very first travel vlog yeah the very first video mm -hmm. yeah, yeah we like really got introduced to Ethiopia yes yes so we saw like a clip of this yeah Unity Park in Ethiopia is one of the most modern and multifaceted tourist attractions in the country built on a forty thousand square meter of land. Espousing a vision of opening up the space to the public, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed launched this project in the early days of his premiership, converting dumping grounds and military barracks into lush gardens and a site of respite for many. The 40-acre park contains numerous historical buildings and plantations dating back to the dynasty of Menelik II. Oh, wow. The park's historical, cultural, and natural attractions are presented in well-curated exhibitions. This park's unique natural attraction includes a zoo with 37 mammals and nine oh, types of animals. Use You'll right. see giraffes, yeah, right. zebras, right. kudu, impala, yeah. ellen, gemsbok, niala, wild beasts, and many more. The black mane lines are also only found in Ethiopia. Mm. You can also see 13 species of aquatic animals and various indigenous birds in the aviary. Unity Park's traditional garden with indigenous plants is another natural attraction. Yeah, Menelik II's right palace complex. Menelik II's palace complex refers to the octagonal structure and other collections of historical buildings that were built at the time of Emperor Menelik II. This complex consists of Menelik's residence and office, Empress Titus dwelling, the home of the war minister Hapte Georgis Dinekde, and a small banquet hall. This building also contains the first telephone in Ethiopian history, wow. which Ras Makon and Welder Mikhail introduced to the nation in 1890 after his return from a trip to Italy. Various sculptures in the park depict the culture, civilization, and strength of Ethiopian nationalities. Sculptures are made of wood, stone, and mud. Moreover, the handcrafted sculptures show Ethiopian masterpieces. Man, you can't, bro, you can't visit Ethiopia and say that you're bored. At all. They have too much to do. Mm -hmm. And it's made from love, like genuine love, like historic, yes. real experience moments that you can capture. Bro, it's, yes. you can now capture that, so much from them. Yes, now that last one, <laughs> We're going there first. Yeah. Okay, history you sure, you, and culture. Okay, 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 okay. And animals back, back, back. for the babies. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's a three and one. It's a yes, one for one. Yes, yes. Love okay. it. Love yeah, it. that was too much for me to say which one's my fave. Um, oh, the last one was my favorite. Yeah, A.O. Yeah. was fire. Yeah, they really was. You know, this was different. I thought it would be all buildings. And, you know, sometimes Facts, that could yeah. get a little bit boring. Mm. Just watching buildings all the time. Mm -hmm. But y'all showed us so many different things and we got to learn like little things that y'all are working on like a road like how Dion said earlier you know never seen people get excited about a road but just mm. knowing the history yeah. and knowing like the current climate there and yes they will get excited Thanks. over a road you know I feel like us as just speaking as Americans we are spoiled because we didn't see the beginning of a lot of things you know so to just see all that they're doing they're doing things that we haven't even heard of mm -hmm, six mm -hmm. lanes well <laughs> all together it will be 12 lane tunnels mm -hmm. like come on now in the tunnel yes that is innovative that is thinking of the future that's thinking of the people thinking of the people 100 percent. i love it yeah i love it yeah. see we got some other things to watch and do instead of going to see the hyenas and feed <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request forms in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace.